Do a little bit more work on the Drift Cobra here. The Chelsea DeNofa Drift Clinic is in two days. Less than that, actually. It's on Sunday, it's Friday night. <laughs> We're gonna get this thing ready to go. Gotta hustle and get it done. Uh, ordered a new brake caliper for the front, so hopefully we can fix that grinding noise. Just gonna try to take care of a few other things. You can see the sound deadening still back here. Still need to clean all that up. Get that passenger seat in there, but I really need to get this uh, brake caliper fixed. But first thing first, let's get the car jacked up, get the wheel off there, and uh, start pulling the brakes apart. Got these nice AC Delco jack stands. You know AC Delco jack stands are good because you know GM products spend a lot of time on jack stands, so that's how you know you're getting yourself a quality product. It's the only thing AC Delco I'd probably ever buy, honestly, but how did you go wrong with these? Especially because I'm not buying some Harbor Freight shit for something I'm going to trust with my life. So the issue is something, I don't know what the, it's a full floating caliper. You can see it kind of just floats around in this thing. I don't know what the deal is exactly with it, if it's with the bracket or the caliper itself, but it just makes an awful clunk, 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 clunk at any kind of speed. So I don't know if there's excessive play or what's going on, but typically what it does is it ends up breaking these little nubs off of the, uh, off the pads. And so then the pads just float around and it makes a racket. So I don't know what the heck's going on with it. What exactly is the problem with this thing? But, uh, you know, it's one of those things we'll just replace it all. About $200 to get one, a remand. And it doesn't even say Cobra, but honestly, it doesn't matter. We just need to get this thing working right. That's the main goal here. Don't mind the misspelling there. So we, we kind of discovered that, uh, Pull in the steering. I put the steering rack limiters in, and that actually helps because when you pull it out, yeah. it actually goes. It hits and it fucking pulls into this. Yeah. This the tire hits the inner control arm there. That's so. crazy. Steve must run a lot. I bet I would ask what tire Steve runs. Well, he runs a. Does. I think he runs a little. Skinny. I think he runs a 235. <laughs> yeah. And some rubber. So. Yeah. Definitely. But with it out, it stops right about here, which is still. I mean, that's gangster mat. That's like 60 degrees. Yeah, so we'll throw that back in there and that'll still be plenty of angle. I'm not gonna need that much angle anyway. So that's with that's the that's with angle, that's with the stops. Because you don't have to stop out yeah. on the side. And nothing hits. So he's like perfect. Got some play. Oh, that's just we don't have wheel that's tight. Yeah, no, <laughs> we should probably tighten wheels yeah. and lug nuts. <laughs> yeah, pretty decent angle. So yeah, the stops are actually good. I'm glad I didn't throw those out because I needed them to get back in there just to try to limit it a little bit so we're not... I put the stop back in on this side. That's where it stops. This is crazy. You don't have S197 problems, that's for sure. So yep. We lit! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's still good. Yeah, that's still a nice angle. Yeah, the, the we ended up putting a new bracket on here. That other bracket was worn out. Hopefully that, it tightened up the play that we had in there. And, I mean, uh, you could go out further with the uh, the arm and change tire size. If yeah. You made the arm go out. Yeah, you change tire extended size, the arm smaller out. Smaller tire and diameter. And with a larger wheel spacer, you could get some fucking Steve Mass like 85 degrees of angle, the fucking shopping <laughs> trolley shit. Yeah. I don't know, that's pretty that's pretty good angle, I think, for all I need. Yeah, that's more than I got. That's more than I need, honestly, at this point. BMW. In my career, I guess, you know, that's plenty. Like if you're driving it if you're driving with that much angle, like you're doing some gangster shit anyway. Yeah, yeah. You're like you're well, not I, that's gonna be hard to sustain much. that kind of angle. Yeah. Well this yeah. thing doesn't have the power. Except if you're driving like me. Yeah. You don't have the well, rear grip that a BMW has, so Yeah, I don't think I'll be necessary. I can change that. <laughs> Well, I gotta put an IRS in it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't tell anybody. I have some <laughs> traction brackets that we can put in here that might help. 
Yeah, I would say get ready to spend like four thousand dollars. No, that's you're like about four thousand dollars and throw it into the back of this thing. Have four thousand dollars in this whole freaking car. I'm not gonna put four grand in an IR build IRS in it. That's why I have a hard time justifying this. I'm a budget drifter. I, I was. I don't want to piss away my my whole life's future on drifting. Huh? I love it, but I don't want to ruin my life. He does have a new wife and stuff. <laughs> She's not my wife yet, but still. Uh, okay, okay, sorry. I got five vehicles that take my money. I got too much shit that takes he's, my he money. He could sell one car. He could just sell one car, and then he'd be set. Put no. the rest in the back of this thing. No. Who, fucking, who's welcome gonna, to Pro-Am. Supercharger? Ain't worth it. I, I ain't a Pro-Am caliber driver. <laughs>